Hello my friends, welcome back to the Archipelago Randomizer. We are going to fight Mar, and unfortunately we don't have a lot of gateway units, so it's going to be a very interesting opening, and I don't know how we're going to survive. Uh, we're going to have to tech up very quickly to something. So, I have a couple ideas of how we can try to make this work. Obviously we want to get this going, and I am just going to rush over here, and hope that this unlock unlocks something for me. <laughs> A robotics facility. We'll see. This structure so I have the High Templar, I have the Dark Templar, I have attack and armor upgrades, I think I have the Void Ray, and that is it. Uh, I think I gotta go for a Templar first. Oh, it's so expensive. <laughs> what do we get? Progressive ship weapons, nailed it. That's that's what I needed, game. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> really cool. Oh no. Oh, what we can do is move over here and try to roll another unit unlock. How am I gonna beat Mar the first time? I think I need to just get two gases ASAP. This zealot, move over here. We're gonna pull him up into the pre-placed photon cannons. Now, we are not, from what I understand, actually supposed to have the Photon Cannon as an unlock. It's like bugged where you have it available, so I'm not going to make them because it's unintentional. In the same way that apparently the bunker, if you unlock Shrike Turret, it's bugged that you unlock it. And I don't want to... I don't want to be a dirty cheater. You know? I want to win legit, so... We're not going to be using those until we actually get them as legitimate unlocks. Which, of course, is going to make life much worse. Here we go. What? Come on, you temperamental Templar. <laughs> okay, well, he's going to die to the photon cannon. I'm going to figure out this guy. I need an Archon. I don't know if an Archon beats Mar. We will learn. Can I win this fight yet? 13 HP? Maybe. What? <laughs> Thank you, game. Oh, he didn't win. <laughs> I got my bonus reward about six hours after the robo died. But it's okay, because I don't have any robo stuff. So it all worked out. Oh, uh, golly. That's big, mad, big Bad Mad Lad Mar, isn't it? He's gonna cause me a little bit of pain in my life. A dark shrine. Okay, let's get this Dark Shrine. It could be of great value to us. And I guess I will wait for the second gateway so I can have... Uh, we're just gonna start making Templar. There's no waiting. No brakes on this crazy train. I'm going to get some guys that I can turn into Archons over here. This first fight's just going to be real bad. But I need to take him out quickly so that I can deal with the incoming enemies too. Because they're going to attack me at some point. What do we got? Hey, we got the bunker! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> nice. Okay, so you guys come on over. Archon Morph. Command us. And then Mar is going to come. We can nail him with a feedback and then pull the Templar back. Start the assault. Oh, he's really going after this cannon. He heard we can't rebuild it. Finish him off. Feed him back again. Make an Archon. 30 HP, and this guy is going into the mineral line for now. Because we don't... Oh, did I just wall him in? Nah, we're fine. So now what I'm going to have to do is start transitioning into Dark Templar. It's more efficient to make Archons this way. Get the Stormsies. Ooh, the Stormsies be good. 
I might keep those guys as regular Templar. Just get a couple good storms off, you know? And obviously having the ability to absolutely destroy Mars Mana Bar seems like a good idea. So we'll give that a try. I want this guy to be more regenerated. I don't want to lose the Archons. The cannons are more okay to lose, I guess. I don't know. Nothing's really okay to lose at this point. Go feedback, pull back. Move in. Templar evacuation. And this actually... Oh, no. Well, <laughs> that didn't last long. 119... We're very close to either losing no Archons or all Archons. Careful. I guess we gotta make another Templar again. So, what is the long-term play here? I don't entirely know. I'm a little bit concerned. Void Rays would be good if I can get them, but I feel like I need more gas geysers for that. If we could get the void rays at this, or if we get this base, then voids would be real nice. And probes? Are probes part of the long-term army strategy here? I think that they are, because I can just keep making them forever. They can be a front line, they can soak some of the shots. Yeah. Gonna be pro Barkon for a bit, and then we'll transfer into something a little bit better in the future. I think we're starting to melt Mar though, because he's a biological boy, and Archons do not take kindly to that. Nexus number two. Yeah, this nerd's getting crushed. He thinks he's so cool being the hybrid. But he ain't. I wish we had Chrono Boost. Then this extra Nexus would feel a little bit better. Oh, armor upgrade. Let's talk about the pros and cons of an armor upgrade. I guess I'm getting a lot of probes. So it's really the probes and cons of the armor upgrade. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. We're gonna need... We need a lot of probes. If this looks stupid to you, it's because it is, but this is what people voted for. <laughs> I am, I'm trying my best to give people what they want. I'm just not sure why this is what it is. Okay, Mars on the attack once again. And swing this over. Couple Dark Templar. these right here. Feedback. When do I pull the probes to fight Mar? That's the real question. Oh, this is easy. This is so easy. Oh, video games, man. They're the easiest. No, High Templar, I will save you. Storm. Oh. All right, so we can grab out these guys, and then let's go try to get this base, I guess, before Mar comes back. We're going to move up to the top. It's a little bit easier to attack in from that direction. Let's get on top of this cannon. It's going to be an important one to kill with the Immortal. And I have to try to not lose these Archons. Because they can get all their durability back eventually. Ooh. Uh, Dark Templar? Oh no, he's stuck. That's not good. Oh, none of this is good. This Void Ray is causing bad feelings. Okay, well 
that can go down. I guess if the Nexus dies, it's okay. We have to pull everything back, though. To fight Mar. Hmm. This is horrible. Little micro backwards. Once again, we are on the brink with these guys, but we can send some of the probes in to do some soaking. And you help out. Get him, boys. It's... Oh, it's so close. All my Archons are so precious. I need more... I need more bases. More Nexuses that don't trap my Dark Templar this time. So can we keep going? Obviously, these three guys... No, I don't think so. We don't have the durability yet. We got Dark Archon. I mean, we gotta try. Just try to micro really well. Grab a big group of guys over here to do some more tanking. Oh, if they're gonna send an attack wave into us, that's actually pretty ideal. Yeah. I think this base is gonna get busted now. Take that down. The Void Ray already got killed. If we can take down the pylons, that'll be it. If. This is a weird fight. Oh, hi, Mar. Oh, we're so close. You know what? I'm going to take the hits at home in order to guarantee that this base is gone. Oh, they just keep producing, though. Archon it. The immortal being gone is actually a pretty big problem. The Dark Templar can kite. That's nice. Take out this pylon. You move here. Treat the Archons. Pylon, pylon. Kill the workers. Oh, we did not save that. And pull back. They can't rebuild those pylons right now. Let's see if we can deal with this attack wave. Because if I can get the gas geyser, as I said, no. Oh goodness. Oh, why does the cannon have to be bugged? Oh, this is a shame. I'm gonna die. Fine, even though I'm not supposed to have the cannon, I'm going to build it. This is just what I was told on the Discord. Is that I'm... But I don't know if it... I don't exactly remember the details. If it's like the cannon is bugged and you're supposed to be able to unlock it and you can't. There was something about a cannon being bugged. And I just remembered it at the beginning of this mission. But I don't want to die. I'm going to die. Okay, we got these. Mark? Mark. Oh, my bud. My dude. That's not cool. Can we... Can we come over here to the cannons? Please? <sighs> they repowered everything. They rebuilt everything. Um, well, at least I can defend if they attack from the front during all of this. Get some more cannons. From the shadows, I come. He's dead. I need to kill this player. Oh, but they rebuilt every single pylon, so everything that I've done in my entire life has been pointless. What do I do? 
What do I do? What would you ask of us? By the void. Are we good here? Yeah, we're good here. So we can take down the Nexus. Is that always the case? Can I always just assassinate this Nexus right at the zero second mark? Because that seems like a good strat. I think it's just that place that needs dealing with. This is the last probe. And we deal with this. Now, how many... Four DTs. Four DTs versus this pylon. How's it going to go? My success or failure in this mission is largely based on the answer to that question. Got it? Okay, now I can open up my base. The cannons are being absolutely wrecked by Mar. It's not the outcome I was hoping for on this side. Hopefully he teleports over here again. I'll take it. So this whole base is now gone. Everything here is going to get cleaned up. Oh, there's more production going on over here, but I can stop that. And then we clear out the units and we take possession of the base. 300 and 800 gas. So we're not really going to have much gas. Maybe I do need to go just voids at this point. Because minerals are going to be a problem as well. I don't know if voids are actually, like, good. I don't know if they're bad. I guess I have upgrades for them. I'll give it a try. I swear, Mar, if you start killing these guys right now, I'm going to be so peeved. We need a feedback. We need a cannon. The Base is under attack. Take these down. Well, I guess I'm not building a Stargate. Thanks, Mar. We can get another unlock. That'll be something. I think he's done scaling. This Templar archive lies abandoned. Oh, well, let's dealt with. Then we get the gas geyser real quick over here and hope that mass void raise is a good strategy. Advanced healing AI for the medevac. All right, I'll take it. Oh my goodness, what is this attack? It's huge. That is all my cannons. At least I have big DT energy. So now I'll have two Archons to fight. Just a random dude that needs to be killed. Thank you. We confront a terrible evil this day. Stargate, Stargate. Wait, can Mar hit air? Oh, he can. Alright. I was hoping you randomly wouldn't be able to, because there's no air on the mission. So voids are on the way. We got that plus one attack. Storm? Oh, that guy's gonna die. Oh, he lived. Good job, bud. Start voiding. <laughs> it's 
Like, not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good at all. We shall I hope these cannons. Chill. I guess I need a cannon over here. Because there's some sort of bully trigger with one dude. I really don't want to cheese this. I said that I wouldn't, and I'm going to try to stick to my word. Because it's just not as fun. <laughs> it's less painful, though. So now we're going to get a decent void rate count. Maybe I can start peeling apart that base over here with the voids. After the fight, of course. Maybe I should have just gone voids from the get-go instead of these Archons. I thought that the voids wouldn't build up fast enough, but... Maybe it's the Archons that... No, the Archons did pretty good. It's their inability to bust this base. They're so fluffy, you know? So we can charge up all the voids. Oh, interesting. Okay, they do have the ability to charge up on him at a decent rate. That's actually pretty important. Because if they couldn't charge, they keep the beam lock, actually, in between teleports. I didn't think that's how that would go. That makes them way better. I thought they would just be stuck on charge level one forever. So we gotta be careful about the spooky stuff. Like High Templar. Or double Archon across the sky. Ugh. Try to utilize terrain to manipulate the enemy here for better engagements. Okay, pile on down, pile on down. Not seeing the Templar yet. I know he exists. Probably need these for Mar, though. So we gotta pull back. Also, our inability to damage that uh, Guardian Shield was a little bit terrifying. Lock beams and incinerate. Yeah, keeping the fire on the cannons is actually working out great. I'm gonna go with a full force. We're losing a lot here, though. But we need something that can tear through those sentries of asteroid impacts. Well, back the damaged ones. Archons are actually falling, which is unfortunate. Ooh. Alright, we're all air now. Oh, they got voids too. They void now. Oh my goodness. Let me guess, their voids are better? Oh, same upgrades. But then we have to go all the way back here and try this again. Which is really the killer, is these infinite Mars. Maybe I need to cannon rush that side. I have the extra minerals. I have the probes. All right, let's go. I'm gonna keep you over here. So what if we just start building this? Look at how poorly we fight this sentry. It only has one one. Yeah, we can't, we can't bust Guardian Shield. It's kind of madness. There we go. Guardian Shield falls. The voids actually get fairly charged. 
Now we should be able to put some damage out. Maybe even enough to kill the enemy? We're gonna have a hard time reproducing after this one, and if we can get this base, we'll be able to make it happen. Oh, Mars following us. That's not what I wanted, actually. Okay, he's going to the base where all the cannons are. Everything is dead here now. And then we can take this. I didn't even need the cannons. I'm glad I set up the can opportunity, though. Man, he be blinking everywhere. He's not doing anything useful. And then we can set up a bunch of cannons on the bridge that will help. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We can start moving this bad lad forward. Pylon, pylon. Make sure everything else is dealt with. Random zealot, of course. Just doing zealoty things. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Please. <laughs> it takes the entire day long to save this man. Ooh, I don't have the cannons up yet. Well, it's not ideal. Here, probes, attack. Just buy me time. not doing a whole lot of damage because he can't charge those plasma blasts. One, two, three. Oh, he killed the pylon. Okay. Cannons are a go. I'm kind of out of minerals now. But we got this going. This base is starting to run out. If I have to take this base here, I swear. I think I'm going to be able to start poking pretty well into the enemy base very soon. Or stuff like this will happen. Oh, my Templar, no. Okay, everything about this is horrible. They killed all of my guys. I just want to set up Photon Cannon's game. No, they killed all of my stuff. Pull this over here. Bait him back. Try to set up cannons because we seriously cannot beat him reliably without the cannons. And we need another Templar. Otherwise he'll charge that plasma blast forever. Why? Why? Who? Such a jerk. That's all my cannons here. Save the Nexus. Everybody this way. Please, just any number of cannons. Cancel it for the refund. Void rays. Alright, let's start poking them from the side and tearing the space apart. Oh, goodness. Well, if we can pull their air units apart, that's actually fine with me. No, nope, but that's Amar. Oh, goodness. That's the entire Taldorim. Or, sorry, the entire Zakul Guardians. Well, if you guys are Zakul, why have I never heard of you? Literally unkillable. Let's try the uh, try the photon cannon thing again. 
Are you kidding me? Stop. Just let me defend my land. My people deserve this. Voids. Oh, I don't have plus one attack. What? I thought I got it. I could have sworn I I looked at it. I definitely looked at it. Feedback, pull back. Now this guy's actually going to die in a decent amount of time, however, they killed all my cannons once again. I'll keep trying. I mean, the cannons are working. They're absorbing the fire that I need. And then I can poke this way. Looks like their sky ships are not actually being rebuilt at a healthy speed. So we may have busted into this base. So if anybody actually knows what's going on with the cannon rush thing, or the cannon unlock thing, I would appreciate better elaboration on it, because I don't fully understand, or I don't fully remember or understand what people were talking about, but I know something was messed up with it, and I want to not be cheating, you know? But at the same time, like, I don't think I could have done this without either A, cheesing, or B, cheating if I didn't have the Photon Cannon. I actually feel a lot better with the way that this went down with the cannons, simply because I actually had to play through the mission, and it was quite a challenge. I'm very happy that I didn't just float to the end. Uh, so what I was talking about before, you can just float a Void right down here and kill all these. We could have done it at the two-minute mark, but that doesn't improve me as a player. That doesn't offer any sense of challenge or intrigue or anything like that as... It's just like, oh, well, we unlock the unit so we win the game. And that wasn't really what I was looking for. I don't actually want to mine from this base, but we can go win now. It's safe. Almost. Probably could have done with that attack upgrade sooner, though. That would have been nice. We must break them open immediately. One, two, and done. Got him. What do we get? U-238 rounds for the Reaper. Reaper range, baby. <laughs> uh. Alright guys, that ended up being a lot more painful than I thought. <laughs> I, I lost many things. However, we now have access to another quest tree. Which means that for tomorrow, the options are Piercing the Shroud, In Utter Darkness, Devil's Playground, or Echoes of the Future. Echoes of the... F oh, excuse me. Echoes of the Future being the third of the Protoss missions, the one that you usually unlock the Colossus on, and Zeratul has to go caress the Overmind tendrils and make him... It's like, it's okay, you die, don't worry. Tastar is gone now. And then Tastar comes back, you know, standard stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my almost death. It turns out Pro Barkon is a pretty tough composition to use. Who knew? I actually did. But <laughs> I thought I could at least break the right base with it. Uh, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace!